What's up, y'all? Size back with another video. And late rumors has been coming out that Jason Kidd can potentially be the Lakers' head coach next season. So basically, they're gonna fire Luke Walton and hire Jason Kidd. I'm gonna tell you why this is a horrible idea from the Lakers. First of all, if Jason Kidd becomes the head coach, that means the assistant coaches, the offensive coaches, the defensive coaches, everything, they're gonna get fired just because that's how most coaches do they get to know a whole new uh, regime to help them coach and most of the people that got hired Luke Walton hired off the bat and that's gonna go that's they're gonna go and the reason why this is a bad thing is because especially for the young guys you need constant consistency from coaches from GMs from everything especially the training staff and people who make them better such as Miles Simon who Luke Walton recruited because he's an Arizona guy and imagine, B.I. already had a lot of problems with coaches. Not problems, but he had a lot of different coaching staffs and everything to have to work through his role. So every time you change a coach staff, you essentially change a role unless you're like a top five player in the world. Same for Alonzo, same for Kuz, same for everything. So it's going to be another new, different type of Laker team next year. We had, this, we had a different Laker team like the last four years, and nobody knows their role yet. And we have guys on one-year contracts, so that's going to make it worse. Some people might think Jason Kidd can handle uh, egos and stuff because he was a player. He's actually a Hall of Famer. You know, he played with LeBron Olympic team and in the finals. But that's not also the case. Even, way, even if you can control the egos, even if his coaching staff is not that bad for personalities with the young guys, He's still not a good X and O guy. That's what you essentially need as an NBA head coach. Greg Popovich is not the nicest guy, especially the young players, but he has great X's and O's and can make players around him better to see in the Spurs system. Jason Kidd doesn't. That's when he got fired from Milwaukee. And look what happened when they fired Jason Kidd. Bucks are the first seed in the NBA. Everybody's playing well. Michael Brogdon, Eric Bledsoe, Giannis, obviously. Everybody. They're the number one seed in the West. They were AFC last year. They were in the playoff team before that. Chris Middleton's first All-Star. Jason Kidd, I don't know. He's not, I don't know if he's a good coach or not. And I have no problem with this guy being an assistant coach, you know, helping the young guys, especially Lonzo Ball, because that's his main comparison. Coming out with the NBA draft, he's the next Jason Kidd. But head coach, no, nah, that's too big of a role, you know. And then by month two or three, we're going to tell Jason Kidd he needs to be fired. And then we got to get another coach. With another coaching staff, and then we're going to start all over. And the Lakers will still be in turmoil. We have no chemistry. In order for teams to be good and to play well together with chemistry, you need const co consistency, basically. You need to know players' ins and outs, what their weaknesses, their strengths. Coaching, too. Coaches need to know that. And then Luke Walton has the best ability to know that, but he's not a good X and O guy. So I don't know if Jason Kidd, who also got fired from his previous job and their team is doing better without him is the right fit for the Los Angeles Lakers. In my personal opinion, I'd rather the Lakers get a, a low-key type of coach or somebody like Chauncey Billups. I'll have a video about him in the later weeks or something like that as a head coach. Jason Kidd and Luke Walton, these guys look good on paper. Luke Walton obviously coached the Warriors to 41 and whatever, four. Then Steve Kerr came back, Jason Kidd, oh, he's a Hall of Famer. He's a good player, so therefore he can be a good player coach. He can handle egos. He has a good IQ. He does, but I don't think he's a good coach. It's a whole different ball game, in my opinion. And this is a serious candidate type of coach. That's what has been reported. But the good news is, is Jason Kidd was originally going to take the job at Cal University, California University. That's where he went in college. But I hope he takes that job so college is a little easier and he can focus on getting his craft better as a coach instead of going from a failed Milwaukee Bucks to the most popular franchise in the world and the Los Angeles Lakers. So y'all pray. Y'all pray that Jason Kidd goes to Cal or any college team or any team but the Lakers. I don't want him on the Lakers. Not at all. It's a bad idea. Another reason why I don't want to hire Jason Kidd is because he's... He's the man of dysfunction. He argues a lot. You see him in the press a lot about the media and the bad things he's done, his toxic ways and stuff like that on the NBA level, on the court and off the court. And the Lakers are known for dysfunction right now at five years or so. And putting him there adds another fuel to the fire, basically. Just like how we added Lance, Javel, Michael Beasley, 
Rondo, dysfunctional players adding dysfunction to an already dysfunctional, dysfunctional franchise. Doesn't make it better. They don't learn. They're grown men. They are who they are. Doesn't make it better. That'd be all for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to the video. I'm sorry for Link yelling. Subscribe to the video, man. It's free. It costs zero cents. You probably won't remember it the next day. Just subscribe. It'll help a lot. And like the video. I'm out. Peace.